The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Introducing the challenger from Adelaide, Australia, Rhea Ripley. And introducing the champion from the Queen City, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair. And we're about to see a chapter in the history of the SmackDown Women's title. And the SmackDown Women's Championship fast becoming one of the most prestigious titles in all of WWE. Multiple historic WrestleMania main events will do that to a championship. Every woman in this industry wants to add their name to this title short but illustrious heritage. Corey, what would you say Charlotte needs to do to come out on top tonight? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Charlotte's accomplishments in WWE run a mile long, and that's because of everything she brings to the ring. Her athleticism, her nastiness, her aggression. She's always a dominant force because of those traits. Whoa. She has her target weighed and measured. Two. Uh -oh. Three. Oh, straight to the floor. Wildly throwing your body out of the ring like that is more often than not going to provide such a result. That was an example of boldness backfiring. Two. Start counting, Saxton. One, two, three. We could be here all day. Power. I think you're right. Oh, yeah, she is really showing her confidence. Cutting her off there, smart strategy. Bang, drop kick. Now she's allowing the WWE Universe to simply soak it all in. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. It'll be hard to walk after that. Three. Oh, Ripley put a stop to that. Four. Oh, that's how you establish dominance. Five. Six. Backbreaker. She begins to stir back up. But does it look good? This match is coming down to the last second. Someone's got to get back to the ring now. No, no, no. Slingshot center. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. Oh, Charlotte caught by the counter. Everyone needs to get out of the way of this fight. This feels so unsafe. Catches her flush. She adjusts it and reverses it. Six. She'll take things into the ring. No! Oh no! Crashing hard onto the floor. A totally ill advised decision there. Maybe slight hesitation there caused the outcome. <laughs> Reminding her who all these people really paid to see. At this point, this is incredibly ill-advised. You're in the middle of a match. Firm control. 
Kick right to the face. Ripley with an opening to go high on the top. Well scattered reversal there, producing a trampling. Oh, right to the leg. Oh, there's the old picture-perfect leg snap from Charlotte. Up high. Body from the top. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. We have had that scattered. Jaw shattering boot. Next, she starts to rise back up, but does she know where she is? Two. Charlotte with a nice reversal. She hit her hard. Three. Up and face first. Flapjack. Position. You are way out of your depth here. She needs to stop saying she's going to bring it and actually deliver on the promise. Now would be the time for everyone to clear out. Easier said than done. And she is now laying her opponent on the announce desk. Bad intentions in mind. Locked in the pump handle. Placed down. some help out here. It's too late for help, Saxton. There's only mayhem and destruction from here on out. Two. Ooh, that might have just broken something. Three. Up and... Face first, Slapjack. And Flair gets that turn back on him. You can sense what her intentions are here. Six. Man, Seven. this is about as close as you can cut it. They're playing with fire here. Uh-oh. Clear on the table. Oh, they're gonna take it to the next level. What is this superstar thinking? Two. They're thinking about the end. Finishing this thing off by any means necessary. And set him up. Oh, oh, oh. That's gonna hurt. She's about to rise up to something catastrophic. close to a count out loss. One. Two. Under the ropes and back into the ring. She's into the ring again. Firm control. Nasty kick to the face. You can tell she wants to put an end to this. She got launched. No. Slip shot, set on, yes. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. Two. 
slowly getting up, but she won't leave what she's met with. Impressive sequence by Ripley. Six. Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all restraints. There it comes. No one likes a count out. Eight. She's taking things to ringside. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Oh, look at this carry drop. The challenger is not in a great place. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes themselves to. Flapjack! Face first. Three! Ripley avoids the attack. Oh, look at this. I don't want to be part of these problems. Don't want to be part of this crowd. Stops Ripley's attack. Turns the favor there. She has taken this situation to another level. Here's the pump handle. Up and driven through the announce table. You have to think of these superstars' well-being right now. They need help. You're taking years off your career when you perform something so reckless. And surely she hears how high the referee's count has gotten at this point. Well, if she does, maybe she just doesn't care. Nine. If this works, it could change the course of the match. This is likely going to have adverse effects on her. She's only aggravating. And Jordan Ripley is your winner. A W for the Nightmare. Here is your winner, Rhea Ripley. Great to see a pinfall or submission win here. Quite a shame it ended by counting.